Oh, the other one's uploading, so I don't know how long we'll get. Let's see. <laughs> Bitch, please, mode. Ugh. Oh, no. The spirit's like, you're about to hit. I don't even know what to say. Somebody's murderer is watching. That means there's a murderer that watches my channel. Ew. Uh, creep. Got some balls though. Come and ask in spirit about the person you murdered or um, you spoke out against this person being murdered when they were and they're mad about it. Ugh. I get the hard ones. All right, so there, obviously it would be attached to the murder, but this is like. Somebody's boyfriend or girlfriend killed someone and the other family. They would never fucking do that. You're watching. Pregnant. Oh, no. This person was pregnant when they were murdered. I will never let you struggle without holding you up through it. I'm your biggest cheerleader. I'm so sorry you had to see me like that. Okay. So they're speaking. They're just wanting to let their family know that. <sighs> you had to identify the body and it was not pretty. Some of you might be pregnant now and have been struggling to get pregnant. If you're not pregnant now, you will. Um, this person's going to help you if you're pregnant now. They're helping you through it. If you lost babies and you're not pregnant, they're acknowledging that they have them. They're safe. Um, or acknowledgement that this baby and mom are together. This person had someone else. I heard I was a complication, so. <sighs> As a woman, I'm fucking pissed. So, this man killed her because she was a complication because she got pregnant and wouldn't get an abortion and he was in love with someone else. This person would have raised this child by themselves. But bet your ass they would have taken them for child support because you have responsibility to help me take care of this baby. Like, you know, she told him that she was going to file or he knew that she would. All because he didn't want to be taken for child support. He killed somebody and their baby. That's gross. I don't know where in the world this says, but if you did this, can you not watch my fucking channel? I don't like you. You are not welcome. <sighs> On anyone's channel, am I right? Ew. Life is short. Make amends with those who matter. We've gotten fights over this. I think the relationship was sketchy. Um, they both could have been addicts. One could have been an addict. They could have been on and off again. A million people could have told this person to get away from them. And, you know, there's just so much fucking talk about this. But let it go. Don't get mad at people. Like, everybody's going to have an opinion. Everybody had an opinion. Everybody will have an opinion. You know the truth. That's all that matters. Don't make it, don't let it make it, make you hateful. 
And then we have someone died from illness as well. I feel like this would be a grandma or a parent is with this person. Powerful gifts. They were demonic people. These were people like, uh, would be, I guess you would call them like witches or warlocks. Like people who, um, I heard gothic. That could be a clue to something. I don't know if that's the actual person who did it or someone naysayer. So somebody, um, Selling falseness about this case is like into the occult. Does dark magic. Yucky. Yucky. We don't care about them. I loved our trip or trips together. Talking to your family. Family trips were the best, I heard. You're not a doormat. You deserve better. You got somebody toxic in your life. Um, domineering, powerful... Like mob type of men is a type in your family and this person is like you need to break the cycle and let it, let it end with me because it, it could happen to one of you too. Like it's just a type you guys go like the bad boys. This one's going to be a bit hard. I was scared to die. The pain scared me most. I feared judgment. I feared leaving this earth and responsibility. Let me tell you something. Death will happen and it can hurt. But in the end, that's not your takeaway. It's not like what you picture. It's way better. Your heart is good even if you forget. Stay true to it. So it's like, they can't tell you what to expect. They were wrong about a lot. They had a lot to own up for, but everybody does, is their point. I'm a version of you from a past life you lived. I've come to tell you that our, I feel like this, the very first reading of tonight with the sweater, watch it. Uh, stress out, pamper time. Yeah, you need to take a break. Got a lot on your plate. <laughs> oh my god, the same two cards that came out in the very first reading. I shit you not. I'm skipping over it for time. It's just acknowledgement that that reading is also could be connected to you. There is two spirits here. You're never alone. They're always with you. You'll never be alone. Not in like a creepy way. They give you privacy. <laughs> I feel healthy and happy. They're not scared of anything. There's no pain. Everything has been let go. They are free. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. Despite what you just heard, remember what they said. That's not your takeaway. They were scared of the pain, but they didn't end up having much pain. I am not dead. Just their body, their vessel is. All right. I like these. Let's see what kind of person we're dealing with. What their personality was. Mood. Again with that stoic. They didn't show their emotions. They, they were tough. Stiff upper lip, I heard. Good poker face. <laughs> Lady Gaga's playing poker face. Love. Drunken Love is now playing. I mean, it makes sense. It's her song. <laughs> but um, you could have love coming in or they're acknowledging that you found love since this person died. Um, side note to that. But this person loved what they did. They were very spiritual too. I don't know if they were like somebody who went to church 
prayed or if they were like a Buddhist, whatever they believed in, they went 100 for. They love what they did. They could have been a performer. I do see that a singer, like a bar singer. Doesn't have to be true for everyone. They just, um, love was their drive. So they probably had a deep love. Like they were probably known as the lovebirds in their area. Loved their job, was good at it. Get some advice from these two spirits here. Cursor, anatomy. Magic, accountability. To me, this is like you're. The spirit is acknowledging that you're trying to figure out what you really want, what the future holds, and you're trying to get your connections, relationships all in alignment here. You want to be happy with who you are with. You want to be happy with what you're doing. To me, this is like you doing an assessment. Is my relationship good? And if it's not, do I want to be with someone else? Can, can I make it work? Do I love my job? Do I want to do this? The rest? It's like you're like really taking an assessment of your life, but I feel like it's because you've Feel something lacking, the spirit is acknowledging. You're taking accountability that maybe you haven't been putting your best foot forward in work or with your relationships. You could give more, um, but maybe you just don't want to. It's like, I, I've been on the fence and it's time to really just decide what what I should be doing to be happy because I don't, I feel like this. your thoughts are, I don't want to go the rest of my life in this funk. You're you're being pulled in directions like you're uh, maybe you want to make new friends maybe you want a, a new job maybe you're questioning your spirituality but it's like you're being pulled in a lot of directions and I think it's making things confusing but at the same time it's like you're acknowledging there's a need to fill something you're looking for the answers what's right for me who's right for me where do I go from here Nothing seems to be fitting just right. It's like you're the Goldilocks. Like, I tried this one and it was too cold. And I tried this one and it was too hot. And I tried this one and it was just right. Like, you're looking for where you fit in every aspect. In work, in love. And the Spirit's trying to help you. Trying to help you navigate. It's like almost a midlife crisis even. Um, restoration, yeah. Feeling drained lifeless in a dull funk you want to be happy yeah peace you want inner peace you want to love yourself you want to be content and I feel like everything in your life feels a little bit chaotic so you're like all right I need to make sure my relationship's good I need to make sure my job is good like let's get grounded let's get centered here yeah you have a lot of regrets that you're coming back like maybe you um relationships are starting to dwindle because you're spending too much time at work or you're not spending enough time at work so you, you're not able to do the things that you want to do it's like you have all these regrets in life in general like why do I still want to do this why do I still think about this person it's like you have regrets but I think you're looking at them in a healthy way or the spirit is acknowledging that you should be looking at them like why do you regret these things instead of just regretting them sitting there regretting them ask yourself why why are you regretting it worry and peace you have so much worry about what's coming am I gonna have enough money am I gonna um Am I going to be okay? Like, am I doing the right thing? It's like you're always afraid. Surrender. Give it up to spirit. The spirit says you're going to be okay. Just give up all this worry and just wake up. Just wake up. Eat your breakfast. Go to your job. Just exist until until it's not so much. And you can think a little, a little clearer. Yeah, you have, you're facing a lot of adversity. And when you're facing adversity, it makes everything feel more complicated and more extra. So take a step back and let things calm down. Let the dust settle and then make moves. You don't, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not going to, you're not going to fix the problem in a day. So it's okay to take a minute, get some sleep. 
um, eat some food, take a, take a step back so you can get your, your emotions in check so that you know what to do and you can think clearer. This, yeah, the spirit's like, you're going to see what to do. You're going to know what to do once you calm down. You're just too much in your head. Um, there is an encounter. You might be meeting someone in the love department or you might be meeting someone about work. Um, if you're trying to manifest um, way to make money if your adversity is I'm not getting enough work I feel like you're going to be meeting people that will network and market if you're looking for love and, and your adversity is feeling alone you're going to encounter new friends and people be thankful and the spirit is very thankful that you are in their life that you love them so much and be thankful for your life because when you're in a, uh, a space of gratitude is when manifestations can come in strong for you and it raises your vibrations. Um, you are an earth angel. You gave this person so much love and so much healing and so much grace and they're, they're turning around and they're here for you now. Um, they're walking with you as in your literal angel. You can make the life that you want. You build your destiny. You build what you your reality is. So don't stop dreaming. Don't let anybody tell you what you can weave into your own fabric, boo-boo. You do you, the spirit says. Fiercely, they are walking with you. Trust your instincts. Trust your gifts and trust in God. Everything's going to be all right. You're going to be okay. Take a deep breath. You're going to be okay. Yes. You're having a spiritual awakening, so that can be tense when you start questioning everything around you. Your heart space is healing. You've been through a lot, so that can be intense. Just focus on that. Loving yourself. You don't need love for someone from someone else right now if you're alone. love Put all that love you want to put in someone else. Put it in yourself. And then the time it takes for the person to come in your life won't be on your mind so much you're too busy loving yourself yes there's a new pathway opening up for you you're going in a new direction you're meeting new people and yeah you're going to come into union or your union is going to get stronger and healthier you are protected through this time this is a period of rest wait reconsider make that vision board make those plans really figure out what you want where where you want the next evolution of your life to go and just focus on that and the positive aspect and be thankful for all the things you do have be thanks thankful for all the people that are going to be coming with you and all the opportunities yet to come and that keeps you in a state of grace that will keep you positive and manifesting good stuff if this resonated, if you want more readings like this in the future, please hit the like button below. I would greatly appreciate it. It does help my channel grow. Um, if you like my energy, please subscribe. I would love to have you. No pressure, though. I just appreciate that you watch. If you're watching me on Facebook, thank you so much for your support and love. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good night. Bye.